Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Atta girl. Okay. Oh no. Something to be mindful of. Hello. Hello. Mr. Dumet. Mr. Dumet. Hello. Hello. Wow. Wow. An animatronic. An animatronic. <laughs> That's what amazing, Mr. Dumet, sir. <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello. Hello. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes? Smoke. Figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, of course, it wants exact change. Damn it. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? Thought not. Thing over here. Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man.
It's painting. Quite so, I do. You just go back to the One to run into any sort of trap. Darn it, I don't know. Seven Oh, maybe I'm um, mm, 
Next round's on me. Promise. That's what I needed to do. Yes. I love the nanny. Oi. 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 Life would be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. Find a way to get the cigarettes out of the dispenser. You piece, piece of shit, piece don't of do shit. this to me. <laughs> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot in the back, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. Okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Mm. 
The so job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have starlight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. 15 minutes 15 at best. Minutes yes at best. and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. You like it? Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? There's something back here. Mm. Well, well, I saw something else. Um. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Probably. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of team? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. You start on the sink. Anything to pick out here? No. Just keep looking around. Look at this Look wallpaper. This is oh. old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. There's got to be a way through. 
Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. It can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Rod is going to set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Old house. Annie Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? Taking a survey, you try to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Hey. There we go. There. Yeah. See that key? See that key? Just need to find a way need through. So what we do? Oh, what? You can't look at these. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. Mm. 
no way yet. Something up here. Some more. Down. Yep. Uh oh. Who was there's someone else in there? Oh wait, what's going on there always? Maybe. 
be uh... Oh, no, I can't drop them. Ugh, darn it. No. Oh. Mm. No. Nope. What's that? There we go. Should work. Mark? Mark? You okay in there? Okay. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hmm. Hmm, now I need to put a pill. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Check this, Check this out. It's his hat. It's his hat. Who? H.H. H. H. Holmes. H. Holmes. <laughs> Fuck! You okay? No! no. I, just, I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Fuck. Fuck. See? See? What is, what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking fucked one. Up looking. It can't hurt you. It, you. it, scared, you. it scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey. Be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors That's have to be. Director. It's their job. It's they have a vision. Have a Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lon at Entertainment. Good for you. That's that's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonnet Entertainment. And Lonnet Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonnet employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. 
Great. Great. Happy? Happy? You have a future, have and now I don't. Now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Be good. Hey guys. Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Mr. Dumas? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour him more. Let's all just relax. Just relax. We, just we just sat down, give the man a moment. The man a moment. He's, the He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Cooking dinner himself. <sighs> Mr. Dumet. Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. With your hair. We started on the we wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? Dumet? Yeah, yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, Wait. What? why? Why? You saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right when? after we got right to our rooms. He just left. You're left. sure? Can't be. He must be a mistake. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. It was him and some girl. They were in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lana plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for sure? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the duck is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet. As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know. So when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, God, Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We're just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, wow. here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested.
And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. What was that, Kate? Nothing important, Nothing just important. spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things will begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. 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 Sounds like a bubby. Or at least um, some sort of pot. Oh, in that too much. Or 
or just put your headphones on. Not really. Hearing crying. Yeah, you said no pay takes homes. Scary noises. Oh no! Well, that's something else to be wary of. Have to try and get out of it. Get out. Get her out of there. Or avoid that happening. 